New York's current economic situation has SUNY Chancellor Nancy Zimfer developing a new strategic plan for the university system. Zimfer is in phase two of the planning process and is holding eight statewide conversations that will focus on key elements of the new plan, among which are SUNY's economic stability and reducing SUNY's energy consumption and becoming the greenest university system in the world. The Chancellor's conversation on energy was held here at Stony Brook last week. Uh, that's an awful lot of energy. Dr. Stephen Coonan is the Undersecretary for Science in the U.S. Department of Energy. He was also the keynote speaker. According to Dr. Coonan, SUNY can cut costs by working to develop technology to utilize alternative fuels. He added that doing so would also help reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, making SUNY a leader in the green effort. When I was in academia, I could look at this and say, we got a real problem. Energy was not the only thing on the agenda. Chancellor Zimfer's conversation on economics was held at Hudson Valley on October 21st, before Governor Patterson's Empowerment Act was unveiled. The act gives individual SUNY institutions new power, like control over their own tuitions. University President Sam Stanley and the Chancellor talked about it. I think it's vital, and I think it's never been more vital than it is right now because of the state's budget situation. Our plan is a roadmap, and this Empowerment Act is the license to drive. I think it's kind of a good image for what we're capable of doing for New York. Phase two of the strategic plan is scheduled to be completed in mid-March at SUNY Albany's School for Nanotechnology. For the Stony Brook Independent, I'm T.C. McCarthy.